today's daily dose of Amuna. It's time to clear the air. As a result of inner anger and the disappointment we feel in Hashem, we tend to fall into a state of sadness. We begin to study Torah and perform mitzvot without a lack of joy. The Arizal makes a strong statement regarding this broken state and teaches that happiness is the central point in Torah living. Living with a feeling of discontent causes us to perform mitzvot with a very heavy heart, as though it's a great burden and sacrifice to serve Hashem. The Torah teaches that Hashem wants our heart. He wants that emotional bond, the intent, the heartfelt intent. We cannot bury our true feelings that we have senses of resentment, God forbid, or negativity, because Hashem knows our innards. All is known before Him. In addition, there's a deep Kabbalistic teaching that brings down that when we feel distant, it causes Hashem's blessings to come down in the form of deen, of strict justice and judgment. Since we're not properly aligned with Hashem's will and in essence can't receive Hashem's chesed and graciousness and compassion in its proper form. Children are naturally happy. When they feel secure and taken care by their parents, they feel a sense of inner happiness. And if we could adapt this childish viewpoint, constantly remind ourselves that Hashem has never and will never abandon us, then we will find genuine, lasting happiness. Nonetheless, we are emotional be beings and we do experience various highs and lows in life and that causes fluctuations of our spirit. However, we need to understand that it's vital not to ignore Hashem. In fact, marital peace, shalom bayit, is not achieved when we overlook one another and we, we refuse to talk about our true feelings and thus we have peace in the house because we don't communicate with one another, God forbid. Hashem endlessly takes care of us. And so the, the path to true internal healing to spiritual perfection is internalizing the message day in, day out that Hashem loves us and Hashem is taking care of us. As the negative feelings tend to mount, we unfortunately widen the gap and the distance to Hashem. And yet we're talk, taught Hashem is our shadow. So as we respond to Him, He in turn reacts back to us. Hence, it is essential to be true with ourselves, talk with honesty to Hashem, and use the mode of communication, a gift from Hashem called tefillah, as an opportunity to clean the air and make peace with our Creator. This is a fundamental stepping stone to Amuna and why we engage in tefillah. Have a great day filled with Amuna and smiles.